So today I've got Minka's Journey, which is a colouring storybook. You can see it up against Jada Basford's colouring book there. It's A4 size, roughly. Glossy cover on it. And it is reflecting a little bit in my light. Now we've got a title page, which is on tray stock paper. We've got double page printing. And if you like this, you know, sort of simple elements to colour, lots of elements there, but pretty simple designs, then this could be a pretty good book. Now the paper is thin, it's tray stock, but what they've done is left pages blank. So if you want to use markers on them, you can pop some paper in between and it won't bleed through. So that's good. Isn't this cute? We've got this little critter there peeking out and we've got larger elements here on some of the things. And as I said, those blank pages so that you're not getting that bleed through. And now we've got all our cute little animals. Now it's meant to be a storybook, but I think the story is within pictures. I can't recall seeing any text in it, but it's pretty cute. We've got some patterned little little hills there in the background, our little swans. For some reason, that cat's having a day out. I don't know why. And we've got our sea lions, pelicans. This is a really kind of cute image. So it's suitable for both adults and children. It's, it's pretty cute bit repetitive this one with all the fishies in not really a, a very realistic pattern but because it's you know a double page spread it should fold over once it's been used a little bit more opened a little bit more but um like the pattern of the fishes is kind of weird because they're going all this way then then that way and they seem to be too cluttered together but that's just my personal opinion Got those blank pages again and now we've got this lovely hot air balloons we've got the kites yeah it's pretty good pretty good and then we've got our cute little farmyard scene which i think that's probably one of my faves love a farmyard oh and that's really cute as well Look at all the things that they're growing. We've got watermelons, pumpkins, those blank pages again. So it's really good that the artist has considered that some people might like to use markers in the book. But if you do use markers, make sure that you put paper in between because it is quite thin paper. Oh, and isn't this cute? We've got Kitty. And Kitty wants some of these sweet treats, maybe the milk. Kitty wants milk. Blank pages, beautiful peacock, beautiful birds. Nice little border around the images as well. Nice little floral design. A bit busy there on the corners, but some people do like that. You know me, I don't like the fiddly bits. And then we've got some beautiful wildlife here and Kitty really wants to get that bird. Go Kitty. <laughs> so Kitty is, you know, in most of the images that we've seen so far. Look at this bunny having a nap. So... When I finally see you, a day's journey feels like a moment. Oh, isn't that nice? Till next time. And there's our little sayonara from the little kitty cat. And uh, this is Minka, the favorite feline, 32 pages. So yeah, she's pretty cute, Minka, and her little journey through farmhouses and everything else. So that's it from me. Until next time, stay safe and happy colouring.